Hey, this is Suns and Roses over at Cyber Supply Drop. Today I'm going to go over doing two things. The first thing is installing VMware Workstation. The second is downloading a copy of Parrot OS and creating our own VM so we can learn pen testing on platforms such as Try Hack Me and Hack the Box. Okay, for the first task, what we're going to do is we're going to open up our web browser. We're going to navigate to google.com. We're going to search for VMware Work Station Player. It's one of the first few links you'll see here uh, from VMware.com. Local Virtual Machines, VMware Workstation Player. Click that link. Here we'll see Download for Free. And then we'll go on ahead and click on Go to Downloads here. And then we'll have options to download VMware Workstation Player for Windows 64-bit options. I personally am uh, on a Windows machine, so I'm going to click Download Now. Okay, my download has finished, so I'm going to come down here and click Open. I'm going to hit Yes. Now, I've already installed Workstation Player, so I'm not going to go through and fully install it. But all you really have to do is click next, agree, next, add VM, yeah, just next through here, and then next, and next. Um, I'm not going to upgrade mine, but here you just go next, 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 until it installs the software, and then you'd click finish. Okay, now that we have VMware Workstation installed, we're going to go back to our web browser. We're going to look for Parrot OS. Uh, search for Parrot OS in Google. And right here, very convenient link, download Parrot 4.11.2. That's the version that's available at this time. And what you're going to be looking for is the Security Edition. So I'm going to click here on the Security Edition. And I just download this version here. There's the lightweight version that's more for pen testing. The KDA version is kind of more for if you want it as your daily driver. Not many people use uh, these operating systems for that. So I'm just going to click download. And as you see, it's going to start downloading an ISO file down here in the bottom left. So. When that's finished downloading, I'll come back and then I'll show you how to install it in VM Workstation. Okay, after my download finished, I moved the uh, ISO file from my downloads folder to my virtual machines folder here. Um, if you do move it out of downloads, make sure you know where you put it because we're going to need that next. Uh, first, we're going to start by opening VM Workstation Player. Then we're going to Oops. I'm going to click on create a new virtual machine. We have an installer disk image, an ISO file. Click that and hit browse. Go back to where you saved your virtual machine. And then select your Parrot Security uh, ISO image. Click open. We will do next. Now, on the guest operating system, we're going to choose Linux and select other Linux and later uh, kernel 64 bit. We hit next. And then I'm going to name this Parrot OS uh, 1 1 because I already have Parrot OS and Parrot OS 2 here. I'm going to hit next. Uh, the minimum disk size, I would say you probably want at least 60 gigabytes minimum. Um, as far as the virtual disk image, I mean, you can decide here what you're going to do with that. I'll just leave it as a single file. Hit next. Customize the hardware. Um, I want this to be 
right around four gigabytes. And you can disable some of the other things in here, customize it however you like. Um, click finish. Exit out this window here. And that is how I do the settings for my Parrot OS VM. Now that we have our VMware configured, we're going to go on ahead and uh, select the, the VM that we have. We're going to click play virtual machine. And we're going to click in this window here and just click try forward slash install. You can move up here with down arrows, but we're just going to do the try install. Um, now this process takes a few minutes. Um, it's pretty automated, so I'm going to cut out. And then when mine is finished, I'll come back in. Parrot is fully loaded now. I'm going to maximize the screen here because it's easy. Or it makes things easier to navigate. I'm going to double click install Parrot here on the left side. I'm just going to go and click all the next stuff. I'm going to set my, my zone. I'm West Coast. We can choose whatever keyboard settings we like. Um, I just choose erase disk. Next, full name, you can put your name here, stuns and roses. Uh, my password, um, secure password here. And then click install, install now. So this is gonna go through and do its thing. And when this is done, I'll come back and we'll show you what you need to do next to make your machine a little bit more enjoyable while you're using it. It is finished uh, doing its thing. All I have left now is to make sure that restart now is checked and click done. Okay, so restart is complete. As you can see, there's a login screen with the username I put in there, Stuns and Roses. I'm going to enter my super secure password and we're going to access try hackby or anything like that so we're going to install that by by typing sudo apt get install open vpn put in my super secret password here and there it is you now have open vpn you have your um parrot os and vm and you should be good to go. All you'd have to do is get your open VPN file and then log in there. And if you need to know how to do that, we're going to be creating a video to show you how to do that also in the very short future. Thank you for watching. You have a good one.